Today, we're gonna be playing LaMelo Ball's entire career, starting from high school hoops, then his stint overseas, and then his entire NBA career. Now, Melo has had a very interesting journey. Back in 2017, the Ball family took over the internet, and then randomly he started playing in Lithuania. He also had a stint with the Big Baller League. His career has been all over the place, so I figured it'd be cool to play it all over again. All right, so we're starting off in 2016, LaMelo Ball's first season in high school as a freshman alongside Lonzo Ball right here and LiAngelo Ball. So Lonzo is now a senior, 94 overall top prospect in the nation. And then LiAngelo Ball is a junior, one of the best scorers in California. And then we have yours truly standing at 5'10". Yes, in his freshman season, he was 5'10", almost my height. And then he just... He spurted, you'll see throughout the video. Now what does suck is that this is the youngest cyber face I can get for him. As you guys know, there is a younger version, but that's for 2K22, this is on 2K23. And I would have done this on 2K22, but the servers are officially shut down. So unfortunately I can't have like the, the OG, you know, blonde mohawk, frohawk, Chino Hills. This will do, I guess. So we're gonna have one season, we have to go undefeated because in real life they went undefeated, they won a state championship, so we have to do that in our freshman season. Angelo's playing small forward, Lamelo's gonna be shooting guard, and Lonzo is gonna be, you know, the 6'6 point guard for this team. We got Eli Scott as well, he was on this roster. But looking at his attributes for Melo, as a freshman, 82 three-point shot, he was really good at passing and driving. That was his main thing, so his pass accuracy is 93, ball handles at 88. It'll take some years until he develops a really good three-point shot, and then I think in his sophomore or junior season now sophomore year he dropped 92 points so we're gonna go for that challenge as well but let's just start by seeing if we can go undefeated nope all right we're already uh one and two damn okay let me check their tendencies real quick for lamello his tendencies is to shoot at an 80 okay that makes sense i think liangelo should be like maxed out oh no nah, his is only at 55 let me make that like closer to 90 because liangelo all he did was shoot and he was a pure bucket getter so we're gonna have that boosted up. By the way, here's a cyber face, very accurate. You know, shout out to 2K for scanning him in the game. Low key, it might've been a mod, I'm not sure. But yeah, things pick up. We're taking way more W's now. Ah, we got some L's here. But if I had LeVar Ball as the coach, we probably would've, would've went undefeated. And we're gonna finish out our freshman season with Lonzo winning MVP as expected. And he averaged 14, four and six. And our boy Nate Boner averaging nine points and five boards. And then Lonzo is also Defensive Player of the Year and Most Improved, okay. So all high school first team, we have Lonzo and LaMelo. So this season as a rookie, or as a freshman I should say, he averaged 12 points, four rebounds, and seven assists. Now in real life as a freshman, I actually found his stats, he averaged 16 points per game and four assists. So not too far off. And then Liangelo is second team, and I imagine oh, only 14 points, okay. He shot 48%, he needs to score more but probably with Lonzo leaving next season, he will. And the Chino Hill Huskies are the second seed. We're gonna be up against the Indians. That's their team name, I swear to God. And uh, we end up beating them. That simulated way too fast. But yeah, we end up beating them by nine points. Uh, Leangelo dropped 20 points. He went five for nine from three. That's an accurate stat line for him. And then Lamelo had 15 points, six and six. Uh, six and six. And then Lonzo was kind of quiet, but hey, we got the W. And we're up against, I think it's the Vanguard Vipers, I'm pretty sure. So let's just hop in this one. I've learned so many high schools across the country just from, just from this mod, bro. It's kind of crazy. But uh, starting off, it's a close game. I'm definitely gonna hop in right about, oh, we're getting, we're losing pretty, damn, we're losing by 18. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me hop in real quick. We should not be losing by 18 points. I mean, I don't know what's going on. All right, let me just control the entire team. Uh, should we do Alonzo pick a roll? I don't know if this will work. Leangelo, back out, back out. Lonzo for three, green. No. I'm also not sure why we have the Sierra Canyon logo on our court. I don't know what's going on here. Look how small Melo is at 5'10". Everyone is huge. Like, look how much bigger this guy is. Wait till our growth spurt next season and we're gonna be all right. They used to do this all the time. Set a good screen, illegal screen. All right, bro, this is not our game. Let's just simulate the rest. I'm gonna take the L. Lost by 14 points. Lonzo had 17 and 11 assists, which is dope, but we could not get the job done. Liangelo, he went four for 15. He shot us out of the game, basically. And just like that, Lonzo is gonna end up going to UCLA. And who's going all the way? The Hillcrest Prep Bruins. All right. I also wanna point out how cool this mod is. They renamed everything. So like, for example, high school team tryouts, group tryouts, high school draft, freshman intro, 
uh, assessment of play. Like that's pretty cool. The people that modded this, they really spent their time in, on the details. I, I respect it. Like the Nike IBL, McDonald's All-American. This is this is pretty dope stuff, bro. Imagine if 2K25 will actually incorporate college or high school into, into like actual mode. I wish. Sophomore season, and it's a big jump for LaMelo. Obviously, everyone knows who he is now across the country. And not only is he uh, more popular, but he also got taller. So instead of being 5'10", sophomore season, he grew to 6'3". And uh, this was a big season for him, statistically speaking. He averaged 27 points per game with LiAngelo on this team. So LiAngelo's at 88, and then uh, LaMelo's at 92. And this team is pretty solid. With Lonzo now gone, I'm expecting to win not only MVP, but I got to carry us to a championship. Our record already is so much better. Hold on. We might only lose two games of uh, four games, five. Yeah, well, LaMelo wins MVP. Unfortunately, we cannot average 27 points per game. We got eight assists per game. We get 14 points instead. Not horrible. And it's LaMelo and LiAngelo as all high school first team, which I will take. And we finish as the first seed. So we're up against, I think this is the, I, I really want to know these names. I think it's the Doorman, uh, Darman, not Darman Cavaliers, I think, something like that. Anyway, let's just see what it's all about. Eight minute quarters as always. Okay, it's a close game, but we should take over. Hold on, I'm gonna hop in. With two minutes left, I'm hopping in. Right about now. We're hopping in, player locked as LaMelo Ball, up by four points with under two minutes left. I got 13 points this game so far. We're playing good defense here. Give me that re. All right, so we have LiAngelo Ball on the court. Let's let him cook. Get back to me. I'm gonna just pull it. Green light, ba bang. All right, I was gonna say, they need timeout. And my foot was on the line because it was only a two pointer, damn. Look at this defense. Look at this defense, man. Get that out of here. Let's go, I'm running. I should have dropped 92 points this season. I forgot, but hold on. I, I can't even pass, damn. Maybe I should go for it in a championship game. If we get to the championship game, I'll go for 92 or 92 points. Let's just win this game first. How about do it? Good close out. Give me that re. Damn. Oh my god. Four point game. Let's do a pick and pop with Leangelo. Leangelo, back out. Shoot the shot. Hit the shot. No. Come on, man. <laughs> you almost airballed it. Imagine, imagine we sell. There's no way we sell. We cannot sell this game. And he almost got an one. All of a sudden, it's a three-point game. I have to really lock in. You know, superstar difficulty is no joke, as you guys can tell. But let's try this again. It'll be a pick and roll, and I'm just gonna attack. Good screen. Pass that. No, I look, bro, bro. There's no way I'm playing this bad. Okay, we're good. Close out. No, miss. Damn, and one. No. Actually, worst case scenario right there. And he misses the free throw. Let me lock in. Let me lock in, nothing, nothing stupid here. I'm attacking all the way, all the way. Pump fake, lay up, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, my defense is horrible. They're gonna play the foul game now with 15 seconds left. First free throw, I've never timed it before. Ah, <laughs> no. Second one, a little bit longer, great. Get the fuck out of here, no, what? Why am I so bad at Hall of Fame? There's no way I just hopped in to sell the game. There's no way, right? Let's lock in. Come on. That same spot is where Bronny lost a game in the playoffs. That same spot. Close out. No. Do the. Yes. <laughs> we got so lucky. We got bailed out. I'm on my knees, bro. Oh, man. Okay. We live to see another game. Wow. And now we're up against the Odea Fighting Irish. I am familiar with this school. So let's see what the deal is, man. Are they going to crush us or are we going to cook up our own? They're, ah, it's a close game. Close back and forth game. I think it's, I think it's worthy of hopping into. And that's what I'm going to do. Down by one. I got to redeem myself after that last game. Down by one with over two minutes left. I could do my thing here. That's good defense. Better offense. Jeez. All right. I'm thinking this time around, I, uh... Don't give it to Leangelo. I'm going to use him as a screener, but I'm going to pull it for a green. Bang. Let's go. I need help from my team right here on defense. Close out. I'll do it myself. Yup. Good defense. Stop fouling. They have a bad habit of fouling. Luckily for us, though, in high school basketball, they're not always going to make free throws. They're going to miss some. This guy went two for two, though. LeVar is somewhere punching the air, watching us be losing right now. This is not supposed to be happening. Pick and pop with Leangelo. Redemption time. You got to redeem yourself, bro. You gotta redeem yourself, gang. Come on, man. Why is he so open? <gasps> no, I'm cooked, I'm cooked, I'm cooked. Seven points, let's start off with an assist right here. And 
my up. I've been forgetting these are like 70 overall players, so everyone's gonna be doing bad. Maybe I should full court trap. I'm a full court trap, man. In high school, they definitely do that, so it's, 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 it makes sense to do it here. Good defense, good closeout. Ain't no way. I'm running out. I'm trailing. Hey, I'm a. I'm a oh, I can't stop pop for a three. I gotta give it to Leangelo. Leangelo, don't shoot that. Don't shoot that. Back, 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 back. Back. Green, please. No. Oh. You know what? Seven point game. I'm gonna start chucking up threes, bro. I do not care. I'm just gonna hold it long to get my to get my uh, timing. Full court trap. Maybe we can get a, a steal or something here. Maybe help. Ah, uh, steal. Damn, damn, we got a foul, I think. Yup. I mean, you never know. They could miss a free throw. Right here would be a perfect time. Nope. Okay, we actually need threes. There's no more two-pointers. No more two-point talk. Shit. Back out, back out. Pull it. Do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it. That's game. We have officially lost our second season. LaMelo had 19 points. Or was that LiAngelo? No, LaMelo had 19 points. And we lost. Womp, womp, womp. Who's going all the way? The Odea fighting Irish is what it is, man. I swear, it's a lot harder than it looks. Like, I'm not that bad at the game, by the, by the way. But now things take a turn. Because in real life, Lamelo went to Lithuania. He skipped his junior season and went to Lithuania in 2018. I'm not going to Lithuania. Instead, what we'll do, we're going to come back to the USA and play for Aspire Academy in his senior season, his last year of high school. So we fast forward, and here we are, man. The Aspire Academy. Academy based out of Ohio for LaMelo Ball he had a whole different haircut when he was with Spire and I have that mod but again it only works on 2k22 which sucks but uh it, it is a thing but one also another thing that happened for him he grew to six foot six six foot six he went from 5'10 to 6'6 six, six, and then we we're not even at his NBA height yet but at 17 years old he's a 94 overall and he's by far the best player in high school basketball a five-star prospect i really wonder where he would have went to in college if he did go but hey we're gonna find out if we can win our first state championship with spire this season i know they had that one super tall dude rob bob bob Roski, bob Krosky, something like that the 77 dude and uh actually one of my first videos on the channel was about that guy i don't know where he's at now but hey look we win another mvp as expected averaging 18 points five boards and seven assists and our record wasn't too good because we're only the fifth seed so so we're up against the Brewster Bobcats. If we can't win any uh, championship, state championships, that'd be a shame. And it looks like, bro, it looks like we just, it looks like we just lost. We, the Spire Cave has been eliminated, bro. We lost by four points. LaMelo dropped 27. He had 27, seven and nine assists. He literally balled out, uh, no pun intended there. But apparently their other team just had more firepower and we could not win a state championship at all, which sucks. And who's going all the way is the Vandergrift Vipers. All right. Well, obviously, in real life, his high school career went way better. But in uh, High School Hoops 2K, it did not. So now we fast forward to 2019, where LaMelo Ball signs a contract with the Ilwara Hawks of the NBL. And conveniently, we have it in 2K. Actually, 2K24. Someone made this accurate roster where there's literally only 18 teams in the entire NBL league, which is fire. And then for the Hawks, LaMelo Ball, 6'7", that's his NBA full you know, maxed out height now at the age of 18 years old, 19 years old, really. And he's a 91 overall. He is levels beyond the rest of his teammates and really the rest of the league. Now, if you're not familiar with the NBL, if you don't know ball like I do, uh, the 36ers are actually, uh, it's funny because they took 76 divided by two. So they're half of the 76ers. I don't know why they just degraded themselves like that. But um, we have the Gold Coast Blaze, New Zealand Icebreakers. Is that Anthony Lamb? I guess, I guess it is. The Brisbane Bullets, uh, the Canberra Cannons. We got Josh Giddy. They sent him uh, back to, to, to the NBL after his allegations. Newcastle Felk Ons, you know, not one word, two words, getting spicy with it. And then uh, what else? Do we have anyone we know? Matisse Thibel, he's on the Darwin Heat. The Tasmania Jack Jumpers, that's just, that's a crazy name. Um, I'm trying to see if I know anyone else. Matthew Delvadova for the Melbourne United team. And then Joe Ingles and Dante Exum for the Victoria Titans. Hey, bro, I'm not gonna lie. We should win MVP by a lot. In real life, he averaged 17, 7, and 7 during his stint overseas. So let's try to recreate that and make it even better. And their games are also 20 minute halves or 10 minute quarters, I believe. So it's kind of like college uh, in terms of that. So let's just simulate towards like the mid season break and see where we stand. I really don't know anything about overseas basketball, I know the rules are different. Um, I don't know if 2K has uh, European rules that you could add to the game. I don't think so. 
our record isn't too good, but we picked it up because at all-star break, oh my gosh, staff quit. Please get this out the game, 2K. But we are 33 and 21. And so far, LaMelo is averaging 19, seven and five. I do gotta get my assists up. But with us playing 34 minutes a game and already being at a 93 overall, the entire team's morale is really high. Yeah, bro, I have a good feeling about this game. I have a good feeling about this season. I don't think that a league with 18 teams is playing 82 games, by the way. Just uh, just to mention that. But as expected, we win MVP. All right, bet. So we ended up averaging, let's see, 22, 8, and 5. Close enough to what he got in real life, to be honest. You would think it'd be a lot better, right? But I think it's because of the system and like maybe they have EuroLeague or NBL rules. For whatever reason. Or my team is just so bad, I couldn't get my assist up. Josh Giddy, ah, sicko, man. But hey, we're the first seed. Now, is it a best of seven? I'm not sure. One way to find out. Okay, it's best of seven, is, is my guess. So let's simulate this first round. Oh no, it's the best of, it's the best of three. Okay, bet, it's the best of three instead. And we 2-0 sweep. That's interesting. I don't know, it's like that over in uh, Australia. And now we're up against the Brie. Of course, that being the Brisbane Bullets. You know, Brisbane, the capital of Australia. You know, if you know your geography, you know. Um, I used to know every capital of every country at one point in my life. But the series is tied 1-1. This is a decider right here. Let's hop in. Yeah, nah, this is gonna be epic, bro. Super epic and dope. Uh, it's a close game. Wait a minute, bro. Nah, come on. Melo. Melo, lock in, man. Come on, Melo. We can't win nothing, bro. That's actually pathetic. You know, I dropped 15 points, and I don't know why Hung Jung Lee. Is that Jeremy Lin? That's Jeremy Lin. I, that, for a second, I thought I was being racist, but no, that's actually Jeremy Lin's cyber face. Why did they put him on Han Jung Lee, bro? And this dude, Daniel Greta. Come on, man. Who's going all the way? It's gonna be the, the, oh, the tapons. Tampons. <laughs> Yo, they got the tampons winning the championship. That's crazy. All right, game is game, I guess. Let's, let's get out of Australia ASAP. And now we fast forward to the NBA, the 2020 season where LaMelo Ball is officially a rookie on this team led by Miles Bridges, Bruce Brown, Gordon Hayward, and DeAndre Jordan. Here I am at 19 years old, and it's time to embark on our NBA career, our NBA journey, and retire as a Hall of Famer, but I also wanna have a career winning a championship with Lonzo and LiAngelo Ball sometime in this video. But we gotta build that leverage by being a superstar first, and then we can make those demands. I didn't know we had Yusuf Nurkic on this team. That's good to know, I guess. But if you forgot four years ago how the league looked like, LeBron, Giannis, Kurt, basically the same exact thing, except the Nets had Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and, yeah, that's, that's, oh yeah, the Jazz had Donovan Mitchell, but for the most part, things stay the same. Now, our main competitor and rival of this draft class is a guy named Anthony Edwards, who might arguably be the best player from the 2020 draft class. Y'all can let me know, who do you think is going to have a better career, Ant-Man or LaMelo? Right now, Ant-Man has been killing it. Uh, I don't know. Let's just simulate this rookie season. We're going to end up having to rebuild this team throughout this uh, video because the Hornets suck, bro. Bro, this makes no sense. 46 wins? That makes no sense. The Hornets back in 2020 sucked. But Luka's MVP, damn, all the way back in 2021, they were glazing him. It's only three years in. He's already MVP. All right. And LaMelo is rookie of the year. Okay, nice. Off to a great start. Averaging 18, 5, and 5. Scrolled him as sixth man of the year. Giannis defensive player. Okay. Uh, well, Joel Embiid, he's out for a couple weeks. Is LaMelo All-NBA? Now, that would've been nuts, though. James Wiseman for the Pistons. I, apparently, he uh, ended up going to the Pistons. The Warriors traded him or something, I don't know. He averaged 15 and seven. Obi Toppin, he averaged 13. Anthony Edwards averaged 14. Okay, so the Hornets, we finished sixth in the East. Miles Bridges cooked up for us, he averaged 18. And then Gordon Hayward averaged 14. And Nurkish, you know, solid player. We're up against the Pacers, who are the third seed, led by Miles Turner, a healthy Victor Oladipo, uh, Saboner, and they lost Goran Dragic for a couple weeks. I don't know if we have enough firepower to beat them. It looks like we don't. Hold on, 2-1, two, 2-2. One, two, two. Can we pull off an upset in the first round and we're going to a game seven? All right, I think we can pull it off. We're on the road though, but I think we can pull it off. It's close. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. 
I gotta hop in right here and watch. So far, LaMelo has 15 points, but he's shooting horrible for 13. He's actually playing so bad that he's on the bench right now. So we have Sean Livingston in the game instead at point guard. And then we just turned it over. Nice. DeMont is playing through an injury. I forgot he played for Indiana, bro. His, his career has been all over the place. Thunder, Indiana, the Kings. Goron the moron. Boom, he missed it. Bruce Brown is apparently a star. Sean Livingston, do not turn it over again, please. PJ Washington. This is before Brittany Renner. He missed it. Come on. They're not giving the ball to Oladipo for some reason, and Turner isn't in the game. Goron's going to take it. Nice pass out of shot. Maurice Spates. Amen. Good closeout. Come on, man. Really? Tie ball game of 40 seconds left. I don't trust any of these players to score. Okay, PJ. Shut me up then. We got LaMelo back in the game. We can't allow any three-pointers or else we're cooked, man. Game seven. LaMelo, you got to close out on that. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. What? Who the fuck is Goran Dragic think he is, man? Really? Back-to-back -back smothered shots? Seriously? Like, that actually, like, that kind of hurt my soul, bro. Now we're down by one with 27 seconds left. LaMelo, you should go for game, bro. F it. It's your world, bro. LaMelo. No, 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 no. Get back to him. Nurkic, I swear to God, if you don't score here, I swear to God, Nurkic, let's go. I, I had the hitman ready to kill him. But I fear we gave Goran Dragic way too much time. 16 seconds left. If he makes another smothered shot, I'm going to be deleting my game off uh, my PS5. It looks like they're setting it up for him to take the last shot, too. Ah, uh, come on, Melo. Just stay on him. Stay glued onto him. Close out. Come the fuck on. What the fuck? Are you like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Are you serious? They turned Goran Dragic into Kobe Bean Bryant combined with Michael Jordan. What was that last three possessions? All contested shots. This guy, who, who is, who, bro, what is his overall? What is his overall? 78 overall. He averaged four points in the playoffs and he's playing like this. Yo, there's no way. Some people just have ice in their veins and apparently Goran Dragic is one of them. That was ridiculous. Well, who's going all the way in 2021? It's gonna be the Lakers. All right, they won it in 2020 and apparently LeBron goes back to back and now he has five championships under his belt in this sim. Our second season, we're up to an 83 overall, but as you can tell, everyone's morale is down. They're probably still pissed about Goran in that playoff run. Um, is what it is. We didn't pick up anyone new, it looks like. We actually lost Gordon Hayward as well. I'm about to get my GM bag right now and become a, you know, a, a genius to make some trades. We could trade DeAndre Jordan for Aaron Gordon. The thing is, they're very similar players. If anything, Gordon is younger, but he's gonna cost a little bit more. I think we go, ah, I think we go, I, we already have Nurkic, so I'm gonna go for it. And it just so happens we have two of the best dunkers on the same team, Miles Bridges and Aaron Gordon. Uh, we got PJ Washington at power forward as well. We need a shooting guard. Malik Monk is solid though. I think he could. I think we could rock out with him as our shooting guard. We, the thing is, I don't know if we're bad enough to tank for a pick or what. The worst position to be in right now is to be like a mid-tier team because then we don't get a good draft pick and we also like we don't. You know we're in the playoffs, but we're gonna lose. I never seen this before, bro. But 2K gave Tatum an MVP in 2022. I forgot, they went to the finals this season. I just don't remember if he had that good of a season, like MVP type of run. Come Bucket Rookie of the Year. Scrolled him back to back, six man of the year, and he's putting up good numbers, like 19 and seven. Most improved is Cole Anthony. I was hoping to be us. Is LaMelo anywhere here? No. And the Hornets are an eight seed. See, I don't want to be even like close. LaMelo, he got left knee tendonitis. He only put up 16 and six this season. I have a bad feeling it's gonna mess up the rest of his career when they have these type of injuries. We're gonna find out though. We're just gonna simulate this plan right here against the Heat. We end up becoming a seven seed up against the Celtics who won the champ or went to the finals in real life, lost to the Warriors. We end up losing in round one. And it's gonna be the Raptors and Nuggets. The Raptors win it with Kyle Lowry. Is that it? Oh, Pascal Siakam as well. Him and Kyle Lowry. And LeBron James retires pretty early in 2022. So two years ago, he retires uh, technically with uh, Carmelo Anthony and Dwight Howard. He was still able to cross 40,000 points though. He's at 41,000. So we're gonna try to cross that. It's gonna be tough. And unfortunately we gave our pick to the Magic. Oh yeah, that's right. That's for that trade for Aaron Gordon. How did Aaron Gordon do? Eh, not too great. Only 13 points for us. Year number three, we're still at 84, but Miles Bridges, he's progressing pretty, pretty well. And you got a big contract, bro. Four years, 137 million but he's 87 overall. I think our bench could use some work. We do have Duncan Robinson, a decent shooter, but 
Uh, let's see. Our rotation looks like this. LaMelo is getting 34 minutes per game with Shake, Milton, Bridges, Gordon, and Washington. We lost use of Nurkic, unfortunately. Let me just simulate to December and see if we should trade for a center. I don't like the idea of uh, PJ Washington being our starting center. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out for us, bro. Let me just cut it short here. There's Loki a great trade offer. PJ Washington and Xavier Henry, but in return, we get DeJounte Murray, who is a walking bucket. That's gonna be great for us. Uh, the more scoring, the better for the Charlotte Hornets team. And now we have him that could take the load. I'm gonna put him as shooting guard as well. And my guess is this is gonna make us like a top seven team in the East. Oh, shoot. I just realized I was supposed to trade for a center. Never mind. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Our best center is a 72 overall. So let me go back to actually focus on getting a center. What was I thinking? I mean, I don't mind the idea of Clint Capella. You know, we get that and he's averaging like 12 points, 10 boards. So solid. OG and newbie isn't doing enough for us. So I'm going to trade him and Zach Collins. I'd, I'd rather have Clint Capella in that pick. So that was actually a W trade. Now the rotation looks like this. Much more respectable. Look at all these mid 80 overall players. I like what I'm seeing. I mean, not bad, not bad at all. We finished out with a 50 win season for the first time and Jokic gets his first MVP. So that's, that's what's up. Uh, Paolo rookie of the year. And all right, none of us are here. Anthony Simons, I forgot about bro, but yeah, he probably he probably is gonna be good in the future. Are we all NBA? No, Lonzo is though. Hey, Lonzo's having a pretty solid career in New York. Averaging 17, six and 10. I wonder if that compares to LaMelo's, let me see. Yeah, bro, hey, 25 and five, both balls are, uh, man, pause. But both of them are doing, are doing like really good. DeJounte Murray averaged 17, seven and eight. And then Miles Bridges averaged 19. And our boy Capella, he averaged 12 and 10. So all around these trades I've been making, Aaron Gordon doing even better. Okay, things are starting to pan out. We're the third seed in the East up against Giannis and the Bucks. We have too much depth for, Never mind. We got swept, really? Really? Yeah, we got swept by uh, Giannis. They better go all the way, they didn't. Celtics and Thunder and the Celtics. Oh, wow, Kemba Walker gets finals MVP. Really? The Thunder got back James Harden, by the way. And then uh, Tatum, yeah, he went five for 17. Next game, Jalen Brown cooked up. And then what happened? Tatum had 34. Walker had 30. Walker had 28. What about this last game? He had 32. Okay, I see, I see, yeah. That's tough. Derrick Rose gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. I wonder if in this sim, he didn't get injured. For Yeah, yeah, the person doing that made this sim yeah, okay, makes sense. Because do y'all think he's a Hall of Famer in real life? I don't know. But we got to watch out for the Warriors as they have the fourth and fifth overall pick. The Hawks have the first overall pick. This is the Wembenyama draft in 2023. And the Hawks select Victor Wembenyama. The Heat get Brandon Miller. And the Warriors draft both Thompson twins. That goes hard. That's actually fire. Okay, that's cool. Well, now in year number four, we're up to an 88 overall. So this progression thing is finally working. We do have one year left in our deal. We could end up signing elsewhere if we don't get an extension, but this team is looking legit. We did lose Aaron Gordon as well, which kind of sucks, but I think this is enough to get, you know, to be good. But then we get injured. Severe left ankle sprain. Why does he always get injured? This is this is an issue. You would think the title of this video is I gave LaMelo Lonzo's career. It's, it's going really bad right now. Meanwhile, Lonzo was leading his Knicks team with uh, Mitch Robinson and Jalen Suggs. He's, he's doing his thing. Another 50 win season. Hey man, Luca's back as MVP. Wemby, rookie of the year in Atlanta. Is he playing with Trey Young? I just put I just put that together. Hold on. Yes. Yo, that's actually hilarious because people want to see Trey Young and Victor play together. Um, and, and and it's happening. So he averaged 17. Trey averaged 31, 6, and 9. Give him the MVP. What the hell? Yo, his even last season he got 35 points a game. Why is he not getting an MVP? Unreal. All right, we're the fourth seed in the East this time, and uh, I averaged 23, five, and six, our best season yet. Bridges, averaged 21. DeJounte averaged 16. Capella, all right, Capella did Capella, all right. All right, back against our arch nemesis, Milwaukee Bucks, if they sweep us again, they beat us by four here. Giannis didn't even play that good, and they still beat us. We might be cooked. 1-1, one, one. oh, hold on, hold on, 3-1, I, 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 I think we got it. Yes, we advance and we're up against, ah, the Bulls. I wanted to play against the Knicks and Lonzo, but we're up against the Bulls instead. We lost Bridges for a couple weeks, but the Bulls, they did have Lloyd Markkinen once upon a time. And then uh, Darius Garland, Zach Levine, 
are on this team in our our guy Nur Nurkic. He, he he left to that team. Don't sweep us. 2-1. Hey, can we win this one? 3-2. Damn, we lost in six. Ah, man. That's tough. Levine dropped 30 on us. They're more experienced. Is what it is, but I like the improvement. I like the progression. Um, and the Bulls win the whole thing anyway. So, game is game. I don't know how, but in the 2024 draft, we got so blessed. And Matt Buzilis ended up falling 18th to us. He's actually one of the top prospects of this draft class. Um, you know, who ends up going first? Alexander Saar out of France. Yeah, we got a pretty good pick. And the Pistons got a boner. So, it's 2024 and LaMelo just signed the biggest contract of his life. Five years, $180 million. Insanity. And we kept Miles Bridges, Jante Murray, and Capella. But I'm going to try to make another trade to get some help here. We got Jante locked in for four more years alongside us, which is great. And we're only 23 years old. We have at least like 15 years left. So we're, we're going to make the most of this career. And also, Lonzo signed a big deal. Five years, 200 million. Remember, we got to have both of them playing together at some time in this video. But they're both making crazy bread. I highly doubt that Giannis will ever get back to MP, 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 MPV. What? Isn't that like a, isn't that like a, uh, uh, MPV? That's literally a, uh, t uh, I, uh, it's one of those things where, um, it's a vaginal disease, MPV. Okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah, Giannis does not have that. He has MVP, so <laughs> that'd be really concerning for many reasons if he, if he had, if he had that. But, bro, LaMelo is yet to be all NBA. Look at Lonzo tearing his right ACL. Let's go, man. Ball family is killing it. But the Hornets, we finished as the second seed. So our best record yet. And we're up to a 91 overall. You know, we averaged seven assists this season. I like what I'm seeing. Can we win our first championship, man? Can yo, yo, do not let the Magic beat us. Cut game seven, my ass. I'm not hopping in. We lost to the Magic in game seven, bro. Are you serious? Jabari Smith Jr. and Josh Christopher? And Ke bro, that's such a random you know, tandem of people to go off, and we really lost. We got Blake Griffin too. Very, very unfortunate. I feel like we're wasting years of his career, and it's the Celtics and Warriors, and the Celtics win it this time with Tatum getting his second ring. And the Hawks get the second overall pick. So on top of Trey Young and Victor, they're about to get probably Cooper Flag, I'm guessing. Oh, no, nah, no, nah. Cooper Flag goes first to the Jazz. He always ends up on Utah in these simulations, but it's Dylan Harper, who's a shooting guard, Actually fits pretty well for him. And we get the Zest Fest himself, Jared McCain. Nice. Year number six at a 90 overall. And uh, okay, there is one thing. My guy Alonzo, I wanted to trade for him, but he's going to be out for this entire season as well. So the bro's collecting like $50 million or $40 million to just sit on his ass and he's living my dream. But yeah, maybe next season he'll be a lower overall and then we can trade for him. It might actually work out perfectly. And I think it's time we insert Leangelo Ball to the NBA. Here we go, Leangelo Ball realistic, 32,000 downloads. There it is. And what overall is he? A 70 overall. And I'm gonna make his age like 26 to make it more realistic. And we're just gonna throw him to free agency. That's simple. So if a team picks him, they pick him. If they don't, we'll probably snag him. He probably won't get picked, though. There's a lot of better players that are free agents currently. I like this, though. Matt Buzili's most improved player, averaging 10 and 5. Hey, I'm hoping good things for him. And we still are not all NBA. It's, it's whatever. We're the sixth seed. We fall down to the sixth seed probably because why? I don't know. But LaMelo this season. Okay, so we'll probably cap out at around these averages. 25 and 7 is what we can expect. So knowing that, we can build around him to win rings now. And I don't know if Miles Bridges will get the job done. 18 points, Murray with 13, 7 and 7. What's missing? A good center. Nurkic came back, don't know why. He ever's 11 for us. I, Buzilis, I'm hoping a lot out of him, but I don't know. So here we go up against the Bulls. I doubt we're going to win it. Oh, hold on. Let me, okay, wait a minute. 7 seed Bucks. We could probably beat them 3 2. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're up against the Magic now in the conference finals. We're all healthy. Magic have who? Uh, Evan Mobley, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter, a whole lot of tall players. Look at this, 6'11", 10", 6'10", 6'10", 6'11". <laughs> Bro, what? Let's take game by game. They take game one by 17 points. We don't have any size to us. We legit don't have any centers or power forwards. I'd be surprised that we even won a game. I'm not surprised that we got blown out. 
Magic win the whole thing. And since when does Shea Gilgius have that hairstyle? That's it's pretty dope. So if we try to get Lonzo Ball on the team now in his prime at age 28 years old, I'm not getting rid of Matt Buzilis. Uh, Mike Wazowski and DeJounte, I mean, Mike Wazowski, he's our center. I don't know, I, I like him as well. I don't wanna get rid of him. I'm down to get rid of Jared McCain. He hasn't even played, he hasn't stepped on the court yet. DeJounte Murray seems like he's degressing. Lonzo, hey, we get that end of pick. Consider it done. Bet. So now the rotation looks pretty solid. Lamelo and then Lonzo's coming off the bench, which I actually like that more. The firepower off the bench. We'll see how it goes. And then, you know, uh, Buzili's is up to 82. We'll see. So their first season playing together, we finish as first seed in the East. If you want to see the record, it is pretty phenomenal. 63 and 19, and the Bulls are somehow tied with us. But my guy, Matt Buzili's is up to an 85 overall. We picked up Josh Green, who's actually in the NBL while LaMelo was in the NBL in this video. So that's pretty dope. And then Miles Bridges is up to an 89 overall. Look how much money this team is spending on their top three talent. I don't know if we'll be able to afford Matt Buzili's. So we got to make sure that we win a championship this season. First round against the Pistons, we are going to win that. And the Magic has been a tough team for us to beat. Can we finally do it? Three, two, lock in. Yes. And now we're up against the Bulls who had the same record as us. Again, same exact team except they got rid of Zach Levine. So they're actually weaker. I don't know how they went 63 and 19 without Levine, but Laurie Markkinen, I guess, was carrying them. And no, ain't no way 2K. They swept us. Come on. We were healthy too. Bro, Patrick Williams, they are gassing him up. That's so annoying. We had our best shot and we couldn't do it. And Zion Williamson wins finals MVP in 2027. Okay. All right, well, the same exact team is back, but LaMelo's 26. Lonzo's about to be 30 years old. I don't know, man. This is not looking good. Meanwhile, the Hawks, one team I had my eye on, I eye on can't talk. Dang, ion is actually a chemical. There's ions, protons, and neutrons uh, in science class if you pay attention. But anyway, Wemby Nelma's 95 overall, Trey Young's a 92, and then Dylan Harper is at 88. They have a real squad. I'd be surprised if they don't become like a top two seed as well in the East. We got ourselves another 60 win season and Wembin Yama is MVP. I don't think Melo will ever win one at this rate, man, which, which, which sucks. Um, but on the bright side, we're all NBA second team. And we actually averaged 22, seven and eight. So career high in assist. I like that a lot. That's a very good sign. We finished first in the East. I think this is our season. We picked up Andre Drummond at center. Our guy, Kyle, he's putting up respectable numbers of 14 and seven. Bro, we have everything, like we have everything that we need. And we have the Ball Brothers in the starting lineup together. So last season, one was on the bench, the Mello was starting. This season, we have to cook up, dog. If we lose again, I'm gonna be tight, all right? Okay, round one, we take it. We're going to the finals. Not gonna hesitate. Game seven, close one. Up against Tatum and the Celtics, 3-1. Boom, we're going to the finals against the Memphis Grizzlies. Led by Jaron Jackson Jr., it looks like John Morant is doing worse than Jaron Jackson, very interesting. All right, we're definitely gonna hop in. We lost game one. It looks like LaMelo dropped 33. John Morant dropped 32. Game two, we take it with LaMelo and Lonzo both dropping 20. Okay. Next game, they take it. This dude, Cassell, who's this? I don't even know. He dropped 20 though. We're not letting bots beat us, man. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. Oh, we're happy here. I'm gonna hop in. I'm gonna hop in. For a chance for the Ball Brothers. I forgot to add Leangelo. I just realized. We'll bring him on next season. We'll build enough leverage to, you know, convince the team to sign him. Oh, wait. I, I don't think we're going to win this game. James Wiseman, he sobered up and he dropped 22. And, uh, the, I mean, we did our thing too. It is time for game seven. Game seven of the NBA Finals. LeVar Ball is courtside. This is it. The story is, is, is up to this moment right here. And I think, I think we just did it. Boom. Winning by 16. LaMelo Ball drops 29, 10, and 8. Lonzo drops 17. Uh, we got Luka Somatic dropping 16. And we win our first ring with LaMelo win winning finals MVP. Things you love to see. After winning a ring, we have added LiAngelo Ball to the team to fulfill LaVar's dream. 
the Ball Brothers winning a championship together. So now we're at the point where we have LaMelo Ball as the best player at age 27. Lonzo is 30 years old at uh, 86 overall. And then Leangelo is 29 at a 78 overall. And the rotation looks like this. We're going to have Leangelo coming off the bench as eighth man, getting a decent amount of minutes. And uh, if he's good enough, we'll have him all starting in the playoffs. But let's see how this season goes. Can we go back to back? Who knows? My boy Zion wins MVP his first, and uh, we got the bots, you know, taking over. Yo, Giannis is one defensive player every year. Cade Cunningham, all NBA first team with my Pistons, Cooper Flex, 90 overall, and Trey Johnson. Never heard of that, bro. But, uh, hey, LaMelo this season, averaging a career high 23, 6, and 8. I like that for him. And we're back as the first seed. But the question is, how did Leangelo Ball do? He averaged 8 points, 2 and 2. Very respectable. Hey, it's time, bro. It's time for us to win back-to-back -back championships and get Leangelo his first ring. That big baller trophy. Oh, we're down 3-1. Lock in. 3-2. Lock in. We're going to game seven. All right, man. Matt Buzilis is injured, so it's going to be tough for us. But at the end of the day, we have experience, and we are crushing them. Goodness gracious, chat. My guy, Lonzo, dropping 31. LaMelo, dropping 30. Things you love to see. And Leangelo has six. Is it going to be a rematch? No, we're up against the Utah Jazz and we can't sleep on them because they have Cooper Flag, Alexander Saar, and Mikhail Bridges and uh, Goo Goo Gaga. This guy is out for the season though, but they got some three really good players, uh, big guys as well. So we got to lock in. Game one, we take it. You know, Wazowski with 29 points. Here we go. Game two. Ah, 2-1. Two, no. Let's hop in. I'm going to hop in this game no matter what. Oh, it looks like they're starting off kind of hot at home. I don't want to go to a game seven. I do not want to risk it, but hold on. It's not even close enough to hop into. Damn. Okay, Cooper flag with 31. Well, this is it. At home in Charlotte for everyone to see. Can the Ball Brothers do it? It's a close game. Very close game. And I'm about to hop in right about here we're up by 13 so we have a crazy advantage but you never know with 2k i've learned that you can never get too comfortable you know cooper flag or goran Dragic. i don't think goran's on the court so we should be straight they're full court pressing full court trap we got leangelo ball on the court lonzo's on the bench right now leangelo's gonna spin move attack the paint and just force up a horrible layup we didn't need to do that at all cooper flag he's gonna pull a three. Oh my god Four point play, come on. If they come back, man, I'm gonna be so sick. Matt Buzili's giving it to Leangelo. I'm gonna have to tell bro to chill out and stop shooting the ball. But he wants to play hero ball right now. He's gonna spin move, kick out, there we go. Buzili's with the rock. Three seconds left, you gotta shoot it. I'm flag, you're twin, and he gets his own board. He could've went back up with it, but we're gonna shoot clock instead. Miles Bridges, do something crazy, bro. Do something crazy, pull up for a three. Hey, let's go, baby. I think. I think that should be game. And just like that, we go back to back. We get Leangelo his first ring, LaMelo and Lonzo their second ring. But Miles Bridges, he played a great game for us, 26 points, and we did it. But Lonzo wins finals MVP, that's fire. So both brothers won finals MVP. That's what I'm talking about, man. And for our efforts, we both get rewarded a four-year contract worth almost 200 million a piece. And Leangelo Ball, I, I don't know where he went. I think he dipped. It's all good, bro. He got his ring dipped. Now let's try to see how many rings we can get with this brother duo. All right, so after 20 years pro, Lonzo has officially retired at the age of 39. And here's how his career went. We uh, had him here in Charlotte for the rest of his career, and we ended up winning a total of four rings. We won two more rings together uh, with LaMelo and Lonzo. Uh, and then if you look at his stats, if you just see over the course of 20 years, he averaged 13, five and eight, definitely a successful career. And he finished with a total of only 18,000 points, but 11.5 thousand assists and 2,000 steals. So it actually put him sixth right behind Jason Kidd for assists all time. And then for steals, he would be uh, 2,000 is kind of low, I guess. Yeah, he'd be 29th in steals. But Lamelo's only 35. We still have like five more years with him. So let's see if we can uh, keep it going with him. And for Hall of Fame inductees, did Lonzo make it? No. Oh, this is a stacked draft, uh, stacked class of retirees, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, it's stacked. So it's Luca, Tatum, Aiton, and Shea. And unfortunately, Lonzo did not make the cut. 
That's tough. He literally has more rings than all of them combined. I don't understand it, but whatever. Well, the next season without Lonzo, we end up winning a championship, but it's Matt Buzilis who gets finals MVP. So I knew that drafting him with that pick was huge. We picked up Scoot Henderson apparently this season, so I'll take it 81 overall. Hey, it's all panning out. Don't retire yet, LaMelo. I bet. By the way, the Hawks haven't won a ring at all. You would think with Trey Young and Victor, they'd win it. Nope, they still have not won a ring. It's 2042 and LaMelo Ball wins his last MVP. You know, he didn't win an MVP at all. I think the simulation, right? Yeah, his first MVP, he wins it at the age of 40. I don't even know what that's about. He averaged 19, five and six. I don't know why he got MVP that late in his career. I've never seen that happen before. We are the first seed in the East. Can we finish out with a bang and win one more ring to add to the resume? Up against the Blazers, can we do it? Yes, sir. The Melo Ball Finals MVP, and just like that, uh, what's this? What? Oh my God, I hate this thing. Road to number one pick, yeah, yeah, yeah. But player retirements, LaMelo Ball, after playing 22 years pro, after playing a whole overseas career, high school, like three times, we officially retired, and let's check him out. Pause. We finished out with eight NBA championships, which would be the greatest of all time in the modern era, one MVP, 18 All-Stars, in a career high of only 46 points, which is wild. How do you only score 46? He made 12 three-pointers in the game, uh, 19 assists, and 16 boards, five steals, five blocks. He made a lot of money during his career, and he averaged 26 and seven. But he only finishes 11th all-time in points with 34,000. I mean, that's not, I mean, it's to be expected. He wasn't really uh, averaging 30 points per game or anything like that. But what about for assists? With well, three-pointers, he's second behind Kate Cunningham, and assist-wise, he is fourth all-time, and his brother's eighth. So let's see, he better made the Hall of Fame, and yes, sir, playing 1,700 games, that just makes the career high even crazier of only 46 points, but hey, he did it. He did it, here are all of his uh, awards. And we have officially played LaMelo Ball's entire career. If you want to see this done with Bronny James, I actually already made the video. It's right here. Go check it out, man. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.